Dear students, welcome back and our today's topic again improper integrals. In our previous lecture, I discussed the definition of improper integral. How can you understand that your integral is improper? This is the first question. To understand this, uh, you need to look into the limits of integration. If lower limit is infinity, let us say your lower limit is negative infinity and upper limit is b or upper limit is infinity or both lower limit and upper limit is infinity then this is improper integral of type 1. Let me say it again improper integral of type 1 I said in my previous lecture if your integral involve either lower limit or upper limit or both in this integral lower limit is infinity in this integral upper limit is infinity and in this integral both lower limit and upper limit infinity so this is improper integral of type 1 now the question is how can we solve these types of integral and in my previous lecture I said you need to understand three definitions to solve it three definitions the first one let us say this one minus infinity to b f x dx this integral is improper why because lower limit is infinity so to solve this one you need to replace this lower limit by a finite number a which is approximate to negative infinity so what i did here i replace negative infinity by a and i should now make a relation between uh, this negative infinity and a this a is a very large negative uh, negative number which is approximate to negative infinity we mathematically define it by putting a limit we want to now find a limit value of this integral to approximate it so i should write here a is tends to negative infinity so this is the first definition and second one suppose I want to evaluate this one so second definition will be what a to infinity fx dx this equal now in order to evaluate this one I need to replace plus infinity by a finite uh, large number b to make it proper now this is a proper integral but I should put here limit b tends to plus infinity b is approximate to plus infinity and third definition is for this one when lower limit and upper limit are infinity so in this case you need to consider a finite number between negative infinity and positive infinity for example let us say I consider c which is bigger than negative infinity and smaller than infinity in between we are considering a finite number c now i can divide this integral into two parts minus infinity to c fx dx plus c to infinity fx dx now this integral is still uh, improper this one uh, we can solve by using our first definition like this limit a tends to negative infinity a to c fx dx plus limit b tends to infinity c to b fx dx now you can easily evaluate uh, by using this definition you can easily evaluate um, these types of improper integral so now in this lecture I want to evaluate two integrals uh, example 1 and 2 by using these definitions 
So let us evaluate this improper integral. Why it is improper? Because of this infinity. So uh, how can we evaluate it? Solution 0 to infinity 1 minus x e to the power minus x dx this equal by using our second definition I need to replace this infinity by b so it will be 0 to b 1 minus x e to the power minus x dx limit b tends to infinity b is approximate to infinity. So now this integral is proper this one we can evaluate this one like before uh, first let us evaluate the uh, indefinite one indefinite means 1 minus x e to the power minus x dx let us evaluate this so here uh, this one I should consider u this one and this function let us consider v therefore what it would be u del integration of v 1 minus x integration of e to the power minus x minus derivative of 1 minus x into integration of e to the power minus x whole integration and we know integration of e to the power minus x equal what integration of e to the power minus x equal e to the power minus x divided by minus 1 minus e to the power minus x so I can write minus e to the power minus x into 1 minus x minus this result will be what derivative of this which is 0 minus 1 so I have a negative 1 here and integration of e to the power minus x minus e to the power minus x this equal minus e to the power minus x plus x e to the power minus x minus 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 3 minus will make it minus integration of e to the power minus x dx and this equal minus e to the power minus x plus x e to the power minus x plus e to the power minus x plus c I can cancel this one and this one therefore integration of 1 minus x e to the power minus x dx is equal x e to the power minus x plus c so this integral you see the in indefinite one is this therefore I can put this result here limit b tends to infinity uh, x e to the power minus x you don't need to see here because this is definite x e to the power minus x lower limit here 0 and upper limit b now this equal limit b tends to infinity if I replace x by the upper limit first it will be b e to the power minus b and if I put the lower limit it will be 0 this equal limit b tends to infinity uh, b divided by e to the power b now if you put infinity for b it will be infinity by infinity form therefore you should not put infinity for b in this case now how can we evaluate this types of limit you need to use Lahop Itable rule if your uh, result is either 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity form you are you will be able to differentiate your numerator and denominator with respect to B so our Lahop Itable rule tells us this one will be limit B tends to infinity you will be allowed to differentiate your numerator with respect to b that will be 1 derivative of b with respect to b is 1 and derivative of e to the power b with respect to b will be e to the power b now you can put uh, infinity for b 
which is equal 1 by infinity and which is equal to 0. So this result is 0. The result of this improper integral is 0. Now let us uh, try to evaluate second one. This is our last example in this lecture. You see the lower limit is infinity and upper limit is infinity. So how can we evaluate these types of integral? I said you need to consider a finite number in between negative infinity and infinity. Let us consider here 0. So I can divide this integral into two parts minus infinity to 0, 1 by 1 plus x squared plus the second integral will be 0 to infinity or plus infinity 1 by 1 plus x square dx. Now by definition we can uh, evaluate this one by using our first definition which is limit a tends to negative infinity a to 0 1 by 1 plus x square dx plus this integral uh, is still improper. So, we need to replace upper limit by a finite number b to make it proper and limit b tends to plus infinity. And this equal limit a tends to negative infinity. We know this integral is what? Integration of 1 by 1 plus x square equal 10 inverse x. So, I should write 10 inverse x, lower limit a, upper limit 0 plus limit b tends to plus infinity. Again, integration of this is 10 inverse x, lower limit 0, upper limit b. Now, this equal limit a tends to negative infinity. If you put the upper limit 10 inverse 0, we know 0 minus 10 inverse a, 10 inverse a plus limit b tends to plus infinity. If you first put the upper limit, it will be 10 inverse b minus 10 inverse 0 equal to 0. 10 inverse 0 is equal 0. So, this equal this equal if I now if I put the value of a here it will be minus 10 inverse negative infinity plus b is infinity. So, it will be 10 inverse infinity 10 inverse infinity. Now, uh, what is the value of 10 inverse negative infinity? We know this uh, figure for the 10 curve y equal to 10 x. We know the graph of y equal to 10 x from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 is this, which means 10 pi by 2, 10 pi by 2 is equal infinity. You see at 10, at 5 by 2, 10, the result of 10 infinity is the 10, 10x at 5 by 2 is infinity and 10x at negative 5 by 2 is negative infinity. You see 10 minus pi by 2 is equal negative infinity. Therefore, from here I can write 10 inverse infinity is equal pi by 2 and 10 inverse negative infinity is equal negative pi by 2. So I can put this result here 10 inverse infinity equal pi by 2 and minus 10 inverse negative infinity is equal negative pi by 2 so minus pi by 2 which is equal pi by 2 plus pi by 2 and this equal pi. So, this integral converges to pi or I can say this integral has value pi.
and that's all in this video in my next video i will discuss improper integral of type 2 and also i will solve some problems related to improper integral of type 2 thank you very much for your watching